Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to bind data table to data grid control. First off, create new project using C-sharp language with WPF framework. Make sure you are in the design document XAML. From the toolbox window, under common WPF controls, drag data grid control and drop it on the design document. Select the data grid from the XAML code or properties window. Give it a meaningful name to use it as a reference when you call it from the code. Open the C-sharp file for the design document XAML. Create a new void function, give it a name, filling data grid using data table. Create new instance of data table. As you can see, the class not recognizable. To solve it, just add the namespace using system.data. Every table consists of two important objects, column and row objects. First off, create the columns as metadata for your data by instantiating the data column. I'll create five columns for ID, name, phone, email address. The constructor of the data column made our job easier by specifying directly the column name and the column data type. All columns set and ready. Just bind them to the data table object. Now let's add records or rows in the table by creating an instance of data row. Row needs a data table object to create it. We have five columns to fill it with data. Create second row. Now add the rows to the data table. Finally, bind data table object to the data grid control. You have to call this method on window loaded event. Go to the XAML design document, select the window, from properties window, click on the event trigger button and search for event loaded. To create event listener, just double click on the text field. Now call the function. Start. This is how to bind data table to data grid control. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.